but he in turn has done a good job here. That was a great series for the West Indies, but also you must have been very satisfied with your own batting there at Headingley and uh, also in the Oval match. Not as satisfied though, uh, I imagine, as you were when you were nominated as skipper for England in the Limited Overs International. Unusual really, because it was a game played at Scarborough. I think it's probably the only game England have played at Scarborough. Ian Botham played his first international for England and uh, it's always nice, I think, and a, a tremendous honour when you get picked to, to lead your country. It came out of the blue. Tony Gregg was in doubt with a finger injury, but overnight decided he wasn't feared. And just one interesting little point. On this sequence, who, if anyone, was out? Yes, it's an amazing uh, incident, this. I'm sure Graham Bar Barlow is out, but looking at the actual tape, uh, you, you watch me, and I do hang on at the far end with my bat, and the camera just changes its view, and it's very, very difficult. In a court of law, I think it would be difficult to say, has Alan not actually left the ground? But uh, <laughs> I think most... Uh, players on the ground there thought Graham Barlow was definitely out. Naughty, you were like a limpet there that day. As a captain, Alan, I was always very keen my wicketkeeper should hang on to the vital chances, the big batsman, 